Hello, at this time, we'll talk about the web development. For example, let's see how to create a custom photo album. We begin with making a web page mock-up, just a picture. Then, we slice the document to pieces. Let it be the album title, the main photo, four previews of the neighboring photos, and the text links. Then, we assign hyperlinks to all the navigation slices. Lastly, we save the document as HTML file and images. The result looks approximately like this. So far, I've saved just two pages. The page 3 isn't ready yet. Let's create it right now. The graphic mockup is already here. Now I have to slice it. First off, I open the Scripts dialog, run Shortcuts plus Script, and load Photoshop Keys. Now I press, on my keyboard, C key, which activates the Crop tool. I press C key once again, and here is the Slice tool. I drag over the title area, and the first slice is created. I outline the navigation bar, and adjust the slice width. Then I define the next page hotspot. To create another slice of the same size, I hold down Alt key and drag the slice onto the previous link. To slice the main photo, I hold down Control key. Click the layer thumbnail. Then I open the Scripts dialog, go to Slices category, and run Slice from Selection Script. Done. Then I Control click the Preview 1 and make a slice from the selection. Now the Preview 2. Preview 3 and Preview 4. And what about modifying the created slices? For instance, if I need to resize this one, I press C key once again, and here is the Slice Selection tool. I click on the slice and resize it. Now, I want to align these two slices to each other. I hold down Shift key and the next slice to selection, and choose an alignment option. Now, I right-click on the navigation bar, divide the slice into four pieces, and adjust them. To make things clearer, I show the slice numbers. OK, the slicing is complete. Let's see how to create hyperlinks. I select the preview of the photo number 1, open the Slice Options dialog, and enter the link to the page 1 of the album. OK. Then I double-click the Preview 2 and enter the address of the page 2. I double-click the Preview 4 and link it to the page 4. I double-click the previous slice and connect it to the page 2. 
the next link has to lead to the page 4. Now I mark the Home button and connect it to the Index page. And so on. OK, all is done. It's time to save the created web page. I open the Scripts dialog and run Export Slices Script. Now I can preview the page in the real web browser. Well, everything looks as expected. The links seem to work. However, the total size is way too large because all the slices are saved to PNG format. Let's return to PSE and optimize the page. I click on the main photo slice, choose JPEG format, adjust the quality, then I click the Preview 1, hold down Shift key, and add the other previews to the selection. I choose the JPEG format and adjust the quality for the selected slices. Then I select the Title Slice, hold down Shift key, and select all the text slices. I select GIF format and set the number of colors. Now I select any auto slice with the gray badge. Choose GIF format and define the settings. Notice that all the other auto slices update by themselves. Let's preview the result in the browser. I think the page size is quite reasonable and the image quality is sufficient. So I return to Save for Web Dialog, click Save, and choose the destination folder. Ready. At last, I find the saved page 3 and test its hyperlinks. Finished.